What's up, y'all? It's Beasley coming to y'all with a little something. And all I got to say is, what the fuck going on in the NFL? This offseason is crazy. Tom Brady to the Bucks. The Texans straight, the second best player. Well, arguably the second best player. Because, you know, J.J. Watt. But they, they trade DeAndre Hopkins for a second-round pick and a running back that's always hurt, David Johnson. Then you got um. Then you got uh. The running back from the the uh, Los Angeles Rams. His name? Oh, what's his name? Todd Gurley. Man just got cut a few years ago. He had, he was the highest paid running back in the league with 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 one of the biggest running back contracts of all time, if not the biggest. And he released. The man gave you nine hundred yards. And 12 touchdowns. Now, I know, I think he only played 14 games, but why would you release him? What's going on behind that? Something, something got to be going on behind closed doors I don't know about or y'all don't know about. If y'all know what's going on, put it in the comments. Keep me honest. And like and subscribe also while you're in there. But I don't understand what's going on. First of all, Brady to the Bucks. I hope that line is good enough for Brady. Now, the Bucks got some weapons. They got Humphrey. They got Mike Evans. They got some weapons. So I know, I, I'm pretty sure Tom Brady, if he got enough time in the pocket, he'll get it done. And he has a quick release, so he'll be all right. But I hope that line can hold up. I'm not sure. I haven't watched too much of the Bucks. I'm a Falcon fan, so I only watch the Bucks twice a year. That's it. So, and the first game that we played the Bucks, their line was okay. The second game, we we got the best of them. But I'm not sure if that line is the, is is what Tom Brady needs. We'll see what happens. Maybe they get better on Bruce Arians because Bruce Arians, I think this is his third, second or third year with this team, and he's an officer head coach, so he'll probably get that taken care of. He'll probably take care of all that. But um This is this is crazy. I wonder why the Texans trade away DeAndre Hopkins for a, a running back that's always injured and a second round pick. I mean, why I mean good wide receivers do come every year. Maybe they draft a good wide receiver. That they don't maybe they don't need DeAndre Hopkins. But DeAndre Hopkins just put up another solid year. Why trade him? De- he, um, DeAndre um, Hopkins has been one of the most consistent wide receivers since he's been in the league. Top five, I mean, top seven wide receiver in the league. Why trade him? That rookie you're getting is probably not going to be DeAndre Hopkins this year or next year. Probably not going to be as good as him. And DeAndre, Wa- DeAndre Watson. <laughs> Watson already doesn't have much to work with. He doesn't have much work with the offensive line is horrible. Now his best weapon is gone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure they're gonna get to the playoffs. They might. They might get to the playoffs. Maybe like eight and eight, nine and seven. But I don't see. I don't see. I don't see them. Being that good, he all Deshaun Watson also already is playing very good. He's already killing it, playing the best he can, maybe the best he can. I'm not sure, but he's giving it his all. And then you take another weapon from. That's that sucks, it sucks. I don't know what they're gonna do about that. I'm still waiting to see what the Panthers are gonna do with Cam. Uh, Tannehill, he doesn't resign with the Titans. I thought Tom Brady could have went there. They got a good running game. They got a solid defense. I thought it would have been perfect for him to go to the Titans, but they resigned Tannehill. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering uh, now what the Chargers gonna do because they they publicly said that they they are parting ways with Philip Rivers. So maybe Philip Rivers goes to New England, or maybe um, maybe Teddy Bridgewater goes. Teddy Bridgewater goes to New England. That could be all right. Or maybe Coach Belichick 
can get Jameis Winston right and he becomes what he was supposed to become. You know, a star quarterback in this league. Maybe maybe they trade. I don't know if Mariota is under contract, but if Mariota is under contract still, maybe they uh, they could trade him to the Patriots. That might be okay. I mean, all these quarterbacks are okay, but under Belichick's system, Belichick may be able to coach them up the way they can be pro bowlers or all pro um, all pro players, depending on how well they take to his teaching. I don't know. This offseason has been crazy already. It just started. It's already been crazy. I wonder what the Raiders going to do. Maybe they get like, maybe they get that quarterback love, or I don't know what they're going to do with Derek Carr. I think Derek Carr is, is all right, but I don't know if he's going to win with the Raiders. So maybe they need to move on from him. I'm not sure. And my Falcons, they need to, they need to get some pieces on defense. That's definitely what we need to do. And we need to get our running game back. I don't know what happened to our running game. Last year, our running game was average. We, we usually pound the rock, and we throw it down the field. And last year, we was throwing it, but we could not run it. And we couldn't stop a nosebleed last year. We couldn't stop nobody. Couldn't stop a middle school team. We scored 35 points. The other team got 40. So we're going to see if my Falcons address anything. I think Carolina need to keep Cam. That that Will Greer, I think that's his name. He ain't the one. He ain't Cam. He ain't gonna do it for him. I don't like it. But I am who I am excited for. Kyle uh, Kyle Murray. Woo! Kyle Murray got DeAndre Hopkins now. He was he had a decent rookie season. Now he got DeAndre Hopkins. I hope Larry Fitzgerald come back for another year. Then they got another person to throw to. Now running back, I'm not sure. Who is their running back now that David Johnson is gone? I'm not sure. Y'all got to help me out. But Kyler Murray and Kiff Cleansbury just got DeAndre Hopkins on your team. So they can be a lot better. Maybe they slide into the playoffs. I don't know. But it's just a little something that's on my mind. This may be a part one series depending on how the offseason goes. But uh, gave y'all a little something. That's all I had for now. Beasley out. Peace.